Zygomycota, fungi that are senocytic and often cause storage problems. Senocytic means that you have mycelium that does not produce cross walls. And these fungi can become quite extensive and they grow fairly quickly. And oftentimes you actually see them causing problems on stored food products, especially on fresh stored food products, such as sweet potatoes or tomatoes or peaches or strawberries. We're going to start out on the stored product. And this you can see looks like the outside of a peach or something like that. And you can see this white cottony growth coming up with a little dark spot. The white cottony growth is the mycelium. The little dark spots are the sporangia. So all of this is done by a zygomycete. This is a loaf of bread. It got left around too long. It got moldy and you can see the little dark spots and the little dark spots are the zygomycete that is growing in here. The green one, different type of fungus. You can see this was so bad we didn't even open up the, the wrapper on it. Over here, we've got a tomato. The tomato's not looking too good. It's got this grayish-like growth on it. And all of this is a zygomycete. You can see little white specks on it, and those are sporangia. The gray specks are sporangia. And so we get a lot of these on there. And it's a very common sort of thing. This tomato is unusable. You can see that it's liquefying. You can see that the skin has become soft on it. Storage problems in food, often caused by these types of fungi. Let's look at the life cycle. We start out with this photograph, which is a rather large size of what we're dealing with here. Down at the base of this, we can see what we call the rhizoid. And the rhizoid is really kind of like a root-like structure. And what it does is it anchors that particular material to the substrate. It doesn't absorb, it just anchors it down. If we look at this photograph, which is a cluster of these picked up and looked at under a light microscope, what you see is you see mycelium in there. You can see the rhizoids down at the bottom. Then up at the top, we see what we call a sporangium, a single cell that produces spores on the inside. And then in between these two, we have what we call the sporangial four. And the sporangial four is nothing more than a support going up. Over here, same sort of scenario. This one has been stained red, so it's a little bit different in color in the way we see it. But we've got the rhizoids down on the bottom. And we've got the sporangium here, but you can actually see the spores on the inside of the sporangium. And you can see the covering on the outside of that. And these will produce a lot of spores. All of this is asexual. The time it takes to repeat this asexual part is normally within three to seven days. There's also a sexual phase in this particular fungus that it's much more restricted because it takes longer to occur. And it starts out with hyphae that grow towards each other, and these hyphae are looking to find out if they are compatible. The hyphae as they grow in are called suspensors, and you will have two of them. If they are compatible, they join in the center and they form what we call a zygosporangium. Zygo for zygosporangium. The suspensors are haploid, so we represent them as an N. As time goes on, and these things have been demonstrated to be compatible, what happens is you get the formation of a little bit larger one, and eventually it will grow even larger until it reaches just about full maturity, which you can see in this. Now in this, we can see the zygosporangium in the center, which is now actually becoming a zygospore, a zygote spore, because it is diploid. This format here will require somewhere up to about six months to fully mature. When it does fully mature, it's going to germinate and put a sporangium out that is the asexual type sporangia. So when you look at the life cycle on this, the life cycle on this is a little bit different than the life cycle of some of the other ones. You've got the small repetitive stage, which is the asexual stage. You've got the more complicated sexual stage, which is very prolonged. And normally we don't see the sexual stage too much. When we look at the zygomycetes, very interesting group, senocytic mycelium, they reproduce sexually and they tend to be problematic on stored products.